welcome to another exciting video where we can create PDF files directly from the HTML using JavaScript. So here you can see I have a very simple HTML page with few lines of code and an image and I want to generate a PDF file out of it and that too using JavaScript. In order to do that we'll be making use of a couple of libraries which are available. First of all is HTML to canvas which basically renders content to a canvas element and then we have JSPDF which kind of converts the HTML to PDF. So these two libraries we have used over here and this is the container class in which we have our HTML and the image content. Do note that the images that we are serving needs to be locally hosted not from some URL. So if you are making use of some links where the images are hosted on a different server. In that case, you might have to cache it first on your server where you are generating these and then you can obviously generate the PDF. So here we have the generate PDF method on click of the button. And here we are making use of the window.js PDF. If you're using React or any other library, you can obviously go with the import module but with plain JavaScript, we can have it in this way. Now, with the generate PDF, we are creating an instance of the JS PDF, and then we are targeting the element whose HTML will be converted to PDF. And here, as you can see, we are simply saying save this document, that is the content, as PDF, and here we have the file name for that PDF. These are the basic settings margin, auto paging, XY coordinate and width and window width. Once you have done this, you can just run this particular page, click on convert HTML to PDF and here you can see I've already generated one document. Let's save it and let me open it now. And here we have our PDF file. You can see that the content is coming up in text format and then we have the image as well. The button is not coming up because that was not part of the container. So only this particular portion is generated. You can obviously target the whole page as well over here. Instead of saying document.getElement by ID, we can just say document.body, and in that case, all the contents of the page will be part of the PDF file. So that was pretty easy, straightforward. I hope you like it.